All right, so I'm going to cut to the chase here. Most of you buying age domains are getting hosed. You're paying like 90% more than you should be. I'm going to put a stop to that shit like right now because I'm going to show you how to buy age domains without getting beat in the face. So let's create an image for you so you fully understand what's happening if you're buying age domains this way. So imagine you're walking down the street, okay? It's a cold day. It's not warm. It's cold. And all of a sudden, you see a firefighter. He's in distress, and he asks you, can you please hold my fire hose as I go fix the fire hydrant? Mind now the gutter. I'm talking about a real fire hose here, you weirdo. So, as a good Samaritan, you do just that. So you see him walk over, and you hear, and he comes walking back, and he says, okay, we're good to go. Thanks. And then he does the unthinkable. He takes that fire hose, and he sticks it directly up your asshole. The water pressure is so strong that it sends you five feet in the air and you land directly on your face, knocking out your two front teeth. You're left with your asshole violated, you're soaking wet, you're cold, and you have no god front teeth. Kind of like this guy right here. I won't show his violated asshole because it's just too graphic. Listen, I don't want you to end up like my fictional character I just made up and ask ChatGPT to go draw me a picture for, so I'm gonna show you how to do this without getting beat in the face. And let me admit, maybe I was being a little dramatic, right? Just a little bit. These places that are selling age domains do have quality domains, they're running legit businesses, and they can, can be a good fit for some people. Some. So none of these places are scams or anything like that. Again, they're running legit businesses. And business, it's all about supply and demand. And in this case, the demand is there for quality age domains. They have the supply and the willing buyers, so they sell them. And let me show you a couple of examples of these types of services of what I'm talking about. So here's probably the most popular company that does this, and that is Otis.Global. And look, they're recommended by a lot of people, a lot of people that I respect as well. I know Matt Diggity recommends them, definitely respect Matt. He's actually one of the very few SEO courses I've ever bought, maybe the only SEO course I've ever bought other than my own. And Admittedly, I only watched a few modules, but what I saw was he actually tests, right? He does SEO tests. Not many SEOs do that, so that's why I have a lot of respect for Matt and his SEO. He actually runs tests to back up his data. I love that, so shout out to Matt. Then Spencer Halls promotes them. I love his uh, his Link Whisper plugin. Awesome, use it all the time. I obviously use Ahrefs. They promote them. Uh, Empire Flippers, good site there. Big brands, right? And look, what Otis.Global does is they basically buy domains at auction, right? They vet out good domains. They then list them in their marketplace, but they're highly marked up, like 90% marked up. Sometimes it's even more than 90%, it seems. Then all these people here promote places like Otis.Global because they, they're business people, right? They make 10% off their referrals. It makes them money. It's called business. And there's nothing wrong with that. These people are all probably way better businessmen than I am. In a business sense, it would probably be smarter for me to find an angle to promote something like Otis.Global, sell it to you, or you know have you click the link and sign up and me make 10%. Probably be a better business decision, but meh. Nah, I'm good on that. Make a 10% commission to get you marked up 90%? Nah, nah. Look, if I made 10% and it didn't cost you any more, which is all the products I promote, cool. But if it makes me 10% to cost you 90% markup, I'm going to pass on that one. So in this case, instead of selling you the fish, I'm going to teach you how to fish. And then one last comment and we'll jump in. Look, places like Otis.Global can be good for some beginners who don't know how to do their own domain research, right? Because from what I've seen, they definitely do have quality domains in their marketplace. But if you're following this series, you're going to know how to do your own domain research. I'm going to make sure of that. But obviously, there's many people out there that have no idea about my videos because I'm a small fish and... Uh, they, they don't know how to find their own domain, so they got to use Otis.Global. It ends up being a worthwhile service for them. All right, so let's now see where to go to get these domains at price. Now, obviously, we could go right to the source, right? We could go right to these domain auctions directly. So here's an example of auctions.godaddy.com, okay? And this is the GoDaddy auctions. You can search auctions here, right? They got, you know, auctions ending soon, auctions added today. We can scroll down, see a whole bunch of domains that are at auction. So we can bid right here. And we can even go to advanced search, right? And we can organize by keywords and extensions and characters and age and traffic and price and all these things, right? Then we got Namejet over here, right? Same kind of thing where we can search for domains. We've got an advanced search down here. And they have all different types of ways you can do advanced search by category and things like that. But it doesn't give us all the data we need. Going directly to the auction sites is inefficient. 
at best. Now what we're gonna do is use a tool that has options to view all the domains at auctions with extra data. And this will make it much easier to find awesome domains. So here's the first site, spamzilla.io, and the second site is registercompass.com. Now, as you can see, both of them are paid programs. Now, I'm not even promoting these, okay? They have affiliate programs, but I'm not including an affiliate link just because I don't, I don't care, right? I just want to give you the information. Just want to give it to you. But you can see, like, you're going to be paying $37 a month, but that beats up getting beat in the face and marked up 90%. Like, just pay the $37 for a month, cancel it if you don't like it, and you pay $37. Rather than buying a $200 domain for like four grand at auction, just use this tool and do what I'm going to show you in the next video. All right, so $37 a month, sign up for this one. And then Register Compass, again, $37 a month. I actually have the lifetime membership where I just paid $9.99. I get a forever membership. But these are the two, the, my two favorite options for finding domain. Now, I want to show you Register Compass because this is what we're going to be using throughout the series. Once you sign up and get in, this is what you're going to see. So look at all this extra data we can organize, okay? And then once you do your search here, for example, I did a, you know, anything over trust flow of 10 and then all GoDaddy auctions, right? And I did a search and then auction domain show up right here. Once I click on this, it brings up another window where this is the money, right? This is where everything comes together. And this is where you can really start getting into the data. Look at all this data they have up in this column right here, all right? They got the domain name, of course, the majestic main topic when it was last updated, registrar, the auction type. And the important information, things like, you know, the amount of bidders, um, the Alexa rank, the age, uh, the Moz domain authority, the page authority, the Moz trust flow, how many links they have, how many EDU links they have, how many gov links, all this information up on top, we can organize by and then pick out which domains we like. So for example, if we want to do the most powerful domains, we would organize by domain authority, right? Moz domain authority. And what that's going to do is list the most powerful domains up top, right? By in order. So what this does is allows us to organize the auction domains in a fashion that we're looking at, right? So you can organize by domain age or trust flow or age, whatever you want to do. There's all different ways. You can, you know, organize by topic. You can search by topic. You can filter domains by whatever metric you can think of to pinpoint exactly which domains you want to find. And that is the beauty of using a tool like either Spamzilla or Register Compass. Now, again, the only downside is you're going to pay $37 a month, but most people that they're not looking for domains all the time. Like they use it for a month and they're done. They pay 37 bucks. What's $37 to save a couple grand or a few grand on, on a domain you buy? Because again, there's domains in places like Otis Global that go for five grand. You can literally get it auctioned for a hundred dollars if you're doing your research, right? So there's no reason to buy at Otis.Global if you know how to do the domain research, which I'm going to be teaching you. Now, with that said, I have to apologize to you because I got a cliffhanger your ass. This video is just about where to find them. And you now know where to find them. Now, if the interest is there, comment below and I'll show you how to find them. I'll show you exactly, you know, what you want to look at, what settings to hit, how to organize the data, and how to find the best domains. If interested, put a comment below and I'll put that out for part number eight. Once we get enough comments, I'll draw it up and release the video. So here's to keeping your two front teeth. See you soon.